It's no secret Governor Daniels is thinking about running for president, and if he does, he's making it clear what his top priority will be, combating the national debt, which he calls a mortal survival threat to America. Tonight, the governor talks presidential politics during my year-end interview with him at the State House. Many have said you would have a lot going against you if you were running for president, and some obstacles you just can't help. One is that you're short. I don't dispute it. You know, if it if it comes down to height and hair, I don't. I guess we won't do. Wouldn't do too well. Mark, uh, uh, in different ways, questions have come up in the past. In any campaign, there's always going to be pluses and minuses. And I've always taken the position that it is not for me to suggest to any free citizen why they cast their vote. If they pick a reason that you say, well, that doesn't make any sense, it's their vote. It's their right. And I don't ever uh, begrudge them. Do you regret now saying that we should call a truce on social issues in the interest of paying attention to the debt and fiscal matters? I never regret saying what I think. I've, I've tried to make a practice of, of being straight and level with people, and I accept if people disagree. I think some people misunderstood what I was really saying. What did you mean by a truce? I simply meant that I think the nation faces a genuine emergency in the debt we've piled up. It could wreck America. It could end the American dream, literally if we don't handle it, and handle it soon. It's just like if there was an army on our border. We would drop other things, or we would set them aside for a while, and we would rush to the barricades and defend our country. And all I was saying was that uh, if you're facing a mortal survival threat like that, we're going to need to get together more than just a bare majority of Americans. When you're, when you're trying to make big change, we talked about it earlier, in a state or a nation, the way to do that is to have an unnaturally large consensus. And so we're going to need people who disagree sincerely about other questions to agree about these changes. This was not you saying, I'm not going to work to appoint Supreme Court justices in the Alito or Roberts or Thomas mold. It wasn't no. anything to alarm social conservatives. First of all, it, was, it wasn't directed to them. It was directed as much to people who, for instance, are very aggressively trying to change the definition of marriage. Stand down for a while. Let's save America. I've had a, the first and only Supreme Court, uh, Indiana Supreme Court, opportunity I think I'll ever get. Mm -hmm. Anybody looking at that choice? A strict constructionist, um, uh, very uh, much a, a person who wants to interpret law and not make law, of course, uh, that's my view and a very deeply held one. Do you think Sarah Palin can win the presidency in the general election? I don't know. And we don't, no one knows right now. Does she represent the best and brightest the Republican Party has to offer in 2012? It hasn't been fully tested yet, you know. Give her a chance. Give her a chance. To, she's been heard from lately on some issues that, uh, for the first time, and I thought she wrote about them and spoke about them pretty well. The governor will make a final decision on whether he's running for president by or before the end of April.